Hello traders, welcome to our free trading course. So this is the price trader. This is a, an introduction lecture on the free trading course in offered on Telegram. So thank you so much for subscribing to our group. And uh, I want to start off by saying that this course, these are the expectations. So this will be a hands-on course, meaning that you need to put your foot down in order to be successful at this trading course. So what I mean by this is that you need to go into your charts and backtest. That is the number one thing I must say, that you cannot learn without seeing for yourself on the charts. So you cannot just come and watch a video too and just say that you have learned trading and start trading live. So that's, that brings me to my second point. When I started trading, I thought that I could just start by just going with a live account, just become successful because I, I got a, a few winning trades initially. But then the reality struck when I could not even consistently keep up the pace of winning. So I started losing. And the main reason I can say is because I did not learn fast before I started trading. So this is something I've learned from experience. That when you're learning something or especially trading, you don't want to be involved in live trading because live trading comes with a lot of emotions. So if you want to really learn professional trading, it's better to avoid the emotions that come with live trading. So that at least you can grasp the concepts, you can understand how the market moves fast before you even start demo trading. So I'm not telling you to even demo trade. I'm saying you do not trade while studying. So that concept of learning while earning is not applicable in this course. So this course is for those who are serious about trading, who are very passionate about it. So if you cannot do the work involved in this trading, in this course, then I don't think you can be successful in it because it involves a lot of a lot of exercises that you need to do yourself for you to learn them, to see them in the charts. So this course will involve a lot of back testing using the content that will be provided for free. So after completing the course, you need to formulate a trading plan. So I'll be sharing a, an example of a trading plan that someone can formulate from the concepts. So these are actually straightforward concepts that we'll be teaching that once you grasp the, the idea, you can formulate your own plan and strategy. And the, the best advice I can give when formulating a strategy, you want to find a strategy that repeats every time in fact, you can see it every day or every week, repeating in the market. You see it consistently. That is the strategy that you want to stick with. So if you cannot see it repeating, then you should not even bother going for it because you want something that is consistent because the end goal of this course is for you to become a successful professional trader who can make consistent profits. So if you're not working with a consistent strategy, then it means there's no way you can there's no way you can make money consistently in trading. So I'll advise that you find a strategy. I'll be sharing a strategy, but it does not mean that it's the only strategy you can use. Because these concepts, once you understand them, there are so many strategies that you can adopt. But I'm not saying that you go for all strategies, I'm just saying that you adopt a strategy that works for you but i'll be giving an example of maybe what i've formulated for myself but it's just an example to show you maybe what you need to do in order to formulate your own so once you complete the course you want to demo trade consistently demo trade until you find consistency in your trading before engaging in a live market so you have to take trading step by step. So if you skip any step, then you're already going in the wrong direction and you're already slowing down your development. 
So I'll say that you have to demo trade after you completed the course. So apart from backtesting for six months, now after you complete backtesting while studying, you can do backtesting while studying. But after you started grasping the concept, that's when you can start backtesting. Then after the six months period, you can start demo trading using now your strategy and your trading plan. So you stick to that one strategy and that one's one trading plan. And I'll advise also stick to one pair when you're starting out. So just stick to one pair. So if you're trading Forex, then maybe you can choose whichever pair you, you'll be trading. So personally, I trade EURUSD. So if you're trading EURUSD, then stick with EURUSD. Understand it in and out until it becomes part of you. So don't start trading every pair or demo trading every pair out there. Just stick with one. Find consistency. Then once you find consistency, you can, whatever time you feel you're ready to for a live account, you can sign up for a live account and then from there you just start. So you start and you do the same thing you've been doing in the demo account. So if you are able to find consistency in demo, then it means also in live, you can find consistency. Of course, live trading comes with its own emotional trading, but those are things that you can easily overcome once you understand the concept. So this was the introduction lecture. So this lesson is the, so we have a, a, an outline of the course. So this lesson is the introduction lecture. I'll also be sharing how to set up. So for the newbies, I'll be sharing how to set up your trading view. Or your, this is the platform we'll be using for analysis. So just visit tradingview.com, sign up for an account, and then once you sign up, you just come back and uh, watch the video on how to set up your trading. So I'll be posting that video on YouTube, but I'll share the link. So that's how I'll be publishing the content. The video will be served on YouTube, and then I'll be sharing the link with the... Now, we have uh, an outline here. So this outline will be shared in the the telegram channel but now the youtube video might not really have the same title but i'll be referring to the video that i want you to watch based on this outline so a little disclaimer that this information is for educational or entertainment entertainment purposes only forex and cfd trading carries a high risk on investments so the price trader will not be liable for any actions taken by any consumer of this information so if you're watching this video and you're intending to go and trade on a live account, do it at your own discretion because the live trader will not be responsible because this information is for educational and entertainment purposes. How you use this information is upon you. So now once you have set up your trading, so the trading view setup that I'll be sharing will be based on the concepts that I'll be teaching. So you have to go and watch that video. So just anywhere that you're not familiar, you can come to the group. And there's a group that I created for Q&A. So anything that is not very fam you're not familiar with, based on the videos, you can come and ask anything on the group. So ask me anything and I'll answer as soon as possible. So anything that you're not finding clear, just ask. But the video that I'll be providing will have detailed information on how you can set up your trading view account so that we can all be at par. So the beginner, so you're starting from complete beginner. So anyone that is a complete beginner, meaning that you've, you've, it's the first time you're hearing about Forex, maybe you've found yourself in, in the Telegram group. This is what I recommend. I recommend you go to babypips.com and complete the preschool lessons. So this is a lesson under babypips.com. I think this is a course. You navigate to the course and then complete the preschool lessons. So I'll recommend just complete it to its entirety. By the, the time you're completing, you'll at least you'll have a clear picture of what Forex is all about. But that is it. Do not go any anywhere beyond that, because all the rest of the information does not really match with what we are teaching here. So I'll, I'll recommend that you just do the preschool lessons. So those, that is for the complete beginner. So 
So for the beginners, uh, I've, I have an outline here that I've come up with. This is what I'll be teaching. So we'll be starting with a general overview of the entire course. And then we'll be looking at the time sessions, when to trade, time of the day to trade, and the day of the weeks. And then we have important definitions like what is liquidity, why is liquidity important, which liquidity to focus on, what is a fair value gap, which fair value gap to focus on, what is an order block, which order block to focus on. So some of this information, or rather most of it I'll be sharing on YouTube, but you don't have to bother about YouTube because I'll be sharing the link to the video that you need. For example, if you have time sessions, want to trade, I'll create a YouTube video that I'll share with you, you on the group with the, this topic. So this topic, time sessions, although the video might have a different topic because of this, it's, the purpose is for YouTube, but the lesson will be based on these time sessions. So just try and keep up with this overview because this is the overview I'll be following when I'm teaching. So once we are done, so we have market structure defined, order flow, premium and discount, how the forex market works. So when, once we're done with this, maybe up to lesson number 10 for beginners, where the setups form. Now we'll enter into a more detailed approach of maybe trying and looking at entry patterns to focus on and creating a trading plan. So once you create a trading plan and you have your pattern or your pattern is essentially the strategy is talking about. Then now I'll be, I'll be, I'll be doing an overview of how to backtest. In the near future, I might be doing some videos of some backtesting that I'll be showing. So you'll, you'll get a general guideline on how to backtest. So this is what we'll be backtesting for six months. So once you're done with backtesting, then you can come into demo trading. So I think what I've not included here, and I think I can include it, is journaling. So after backtesting, we have 14. Ja journaling. Journaling. So backtesting and journaling will go hand in hand because you need to journal your backtesting, your screenshots and everything. So I'll be sharing maybe a template. Probably I'll, I'll share a template with you guys to see how you can go about that. But that's, that's at your discretion because there's so many tools to journal. So I'll just recommend a few, but it's at your own discretion. So when we come to break even traders, the main objective of the teachings here will be to increase probability in your trading. So I don't know if you guys maybe you can let me know in the Q and there if the break even traders do you have a strategy that you are already working on or already established or if you don't, then it's. I'll recommend that you go through this beginner's course before you jump into break-even traders. But if you feel like you want to stick with the strategy, then the lessons here will also somehow help in your strategy because we'll be looking at time of day and day of the week, which are high probability. And then how to frame your entries like the banks do. And also, we'll be looking at how you should always take partials. And also, we need you also need to be looking at focusing on one strategy and one pair until you find probability. That's very crucial because you don't want to be overdoing it when you're doing trading. So that could be one of the reasons maybe you're not breaking through. But eventually, you will if you implement some of these strategies. Or even if you implement all of them, that it's even better. And we, you need to also learn to reduce your risk exposure by trading less and also implement our drawdown management model. So I'll be sharing one of my drawdown management models with, uh, with you guys so that you can see maybe how you can formulate your own. And then for the expert traders, I'll recommend just to 
increasing your probability in your trading by always taking partials implementing a drawdown management model if you don't have one and also i'll be sharing more tips to you so the expert traders are already making some profits consistently that's that's the assumption because as as per the poll the expert traders are the ones who are making profits consistently so they're just looking for some trip tips to improve on their trading so guys that's uh that's it so that's what we'll be looking at so thank you so much for joining our free trading course i hope you find this very useful and we'll be looking at this concept so thank you so much